Hey everyone, I'm back at the properties I was at in my last video. The 1910 house, the 1920 house, the 1915 house, the 1870 house. Except for today, instead of hunting the 1910 property, I'm going to be hunting the 1915 property. I took some of the guys uh, advice on fine mile forms of pointing the camera down towards the screen and the detecting area at the same time uh, so you guys can get a better view of, of the TIDs I'm getting and also the full digging area. Uh, I also took some of your advices on, on volume control. I'm going to be playing around with that today to see if I can cut down on some of the noise. All right. Wish me luck. Twelve forty three at four inches. Let's see what it is. It's big. Uh, a little bit larger than a large scent. Can't really make that out yet. Let me try try to throw some of the dirt off real fast. Said I could make it out. Says good luck, and it has a Nazi symbol. <laughs> Hope that doesn't offend nobody. <laughs> Let's see what it is. All right, down in the bottom of the hole there, my pin pointer's going crazy. That's about three inches, four inches down. Let's see what that is. Oh, I can see it. Ah, looks good. It's an Indian. Please be an S. Something. You can see the one cent. Oh, man. See what year it is. Can't make out the date. I see an 01 or 91, 81. Looks like 81. Showing up pretty good.
It's a 01. 1901. Nice. Alright, clean up and show it to you later. Alright guys, I've already dug the plug here. But I think I'm getting a pretty good wheat signal. See what it is. It's a wheat scent. Nope. There's the front. It's got some hard, crusty stuff on it. I'll have to clean it up and show it to you later. Hey, I'm back. I just dug up that wheat scent right there. And now I'm getting another signal about a, two feet away. Yep, take a look at this. It's right there. I think it's going to be a wheat. Yep, it's a wheat. Let's see if I can get a date. Got a hole in my glove. Man. Yeah, this one's got the hard, crispy stuff on the front, too. Oh, there we go. 1940 something I'm about five feet away from the last wheat scent and I'm getting another wheat signal I'm back. Uh, I've already dug this plug too, and I thought, oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is just another wheat scent. Uh, from the signals I'm getting, it appears to be a wheat scent. Twelve, showing right in the range of twelve forty-one, twelve forty-two. Bouncing back and forth in between 1243 too. So I'm thinking wheat scent. Well, I got down here digging a little bit and I can see a silver rim. Oh, I'm going to show you that. I don't know if you can see the actual rim since it's barely even coming through. Right in there. See a silver rim. Some murk. A mercury dime. Let's see if I can get a year without rubbing it. So it looks like it's going to be a 1944, 
Must be 1920 something. I don't want to rub it right now. So I'll clean it up and get back to you later. Well, I got the mercury out of the hole and I scan, scan it again and I'm getting another signal. Could this possibly be the wheat scent? Or another silver dime? Huh, let's see. This also goes to show you, you should always double check your holes. You can see the edge of it right there, right in there. Yep, it's a wheat scent. A little bit of green look to it. Get a date off this one. Yeah, I'll have to clean this one up and get back to you. But first, let me check the hole and see if there's anything else in it. Oh, I'm getting another signal, not quite in the hole, but uh -oh. there, playing with the, teetering on that border of silver and weed again. Twelve forty-three, five inches. Oh man, I hope this is silver too. In a coin spill right here. I'll have to clean this one up and get back to you too. Alright, getting another signal. Same spot as the mercury in the other wheat. In the two wheats. Obviously a coin spill or a coin toss. Another week. 1946.